The former policy adviser to the New South Wales Premier is currently providing evidence at a parliamentary inquiry looking into claims of document shredding and pork barrelling. Kenny Heatley is live at State Parliament for us. Kenny, what is this inquiry actually trying to uncover? Well, basically, the, this inquiry going on at New South Wales Parliament right now, and in fact, we can uh, show you some live pictures of the inquiry happening. It's been chaired by Greens MP David Shoebridge and also uh, right now uh, questioning Matthew Crocker, the former policy advisor uh, to the Premier, has been questioned by the Labor representative of this inquiry, John Graham. This is over the 252 Stronger Communities Fund, uh, where the Premier has been used... To using this as a slush fund to buy the last election. Now, this is also looking into the shredding of documents regarding how this funding was spent. And in late November, these documents were recovered uh, by the inquiry and also showed some important details about Matthew Crocker's involvement in this. In fact, we'll bring up a graphic for you on one of the documents uh, which uh, uh, talked about the $90 million going to Hornsby Council just before uh, the in the nine-month leading up to the election. Of course, Hornsby Council is... Uh, the mayor of that is Philip Ruddock, the Liberal Party president, and it says in terms of quantum, this package would be larger than the entire open spaces package and would be spending more on delivering sports fields and facilities in Hornsby than we are planning for the rest of Sydney over the next four years. And these recovered documents also appear to show that public money was used to settle a dispute, a legal dispute between Hornsby Council and Parramatta. Earlier this morning, I spoke to uh, the Labor representative of this inquiry, John Graham. Take a listen. No one wants to own this scheme. One of the questions that will be put to the former policy director is, was he the architect of this scheme to send out uh, hundreds of millions of dollars, $252 million of public funds? Now, after the documents were recovered and did show this information and also appeared to show uh, that the Premier's office did, in fact, approve at least $140 million of this public funny, uh, money, which 95% went to Liberal-held seats. And then we had that stark admission by the Premier saying, well, uh, pork, barreling, pork barreling is not illegal and uh, it's just a, a fact of the political process, uh, which was a, a bit of a stark remark there. But, uh, John, Graham says uh, it may actually be illegal according to a submission to ICAC. Whether this is, whether pork barrelling's legal or illegal, the Premier might find, if she reads the ICAC submission to the inquiry, that there's a very big risk that the actions of this government are illegal, that they've breached public trust, that they've breached a range of the conditions that the ICAC says in its formal submission to the inquiry would make this behaviour illegal. Tom, just a couple of minutes ago, uh, Matthew Crocker, the former policy advisor, was asked when he knew about the shredded documents and when they were shredded. He said uh, that he didn't know about it until the evidence came to the parliamentary inquiry.